All right, so let's get started. Um, I've made a new project called it Third Person Shooter. Uh, we will be making a, a, a framework which we will use to create a third person shooter. Uh, we will start with the game manager. The game manager will be uh, like the referee for your for your game, uh, and it will also give us access to uh, components of the local player uh, very easily from other uh, non-player related objects, and we can also get events from the game manager, which will happen during the game. So let's um, go ahead and create a folder for our for our framework. I just call it shared because I will share this project. Uh, I mean, uh, this folder around uh, my different projects, like an asset. So we create a new uh, C Sharp script. It's going to be the game manager. The game manager will be uh, uh, open up your uh, development for EDA. I, I uh, using Mono Develop on the Mac. Let's wait for it to load. There we go. Right now, the game engine is a mono behavior. Uh, we're not going to use it as a mono behavior because we will not attach it to a game object. Um, we will make uh, an instance of the game manager once it's used. So, um, and we will create a game object of the game engine when it's used. So let's create a, a private game uh, game object, which will hold the game manager when when used in the, in game. And then we're going to use a static game manager. A static, a static method will just allow you to uh, to execute it without creating an instance of the game manager. So we create a static method which will instantiate the game manager. Also known as, uh, uh, what's it called again? Um, singleton. So it's a private uh, static game manager. I'm going to call it instance. And then a public static game manager. Game manager instance. And when we get this property, we're going to check if it's instantiated. So if it's null, we're going to instantiate or create the new uh, game manager. So instance is new game manager. And then we assign the game object from the instance with the new game object. And we assign it a name, game manager. So a new game object will be created called game manager. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna return the instance. So basically when this um, inst when this instance is called, we'll check if it's already instantiated. If not, it will create a new game manager, assign the game object with a new game object, and then it will turn the, return the instance. So it will only get created once. Now, we're going to use this for uh, a lot of things, um, but we will first start with um, the input controller, because when I use a, uh, when you use an input manager uh, from from Unity, it will ask you for the axis, uh, get axis, get button up, get button down. But if you want to change or swap around to a different input manager, uh, you don't want to go through all your code and changing the uh, input mapper. So you want to have a, a, a one single point where you use your um, inputs, where you get your inputs, and then you pass it on to your. same folder. So I'm just going to call this one scripts. Um, so the shared one will be the one I can use in different projects and scripts will be the one I'm going to use only in this game. So I'm only going to use this input map mapper for this one, uh, for this game. So let's go ahead uh, input uh, input controller or whatever you feel like. And now This will be a money behavior, so we're just gonna assign the the the, the values we can uh, we use in our game. So we're gonna use a vertical, just like get axis vertical. We're gonna get it horizontal. 
going to get a uh, factor 2 mouse input so basically this will be our um, this will be uh, our first uh, properties which we will use in the update method if I type it correctly update method we just assign uh, input get access Vertical, horizontal will be input get axis. Horizontal, and the mouse input will be a new vector two. Uh, input get axis, and we're going to take the raw axis for the mouse x, and input get axis raw. For the mouse Y. All right. So we don't. Uh, we will assign the input controller to the game manager as a as a a member. So you want. Uh, so if it's get if it gets used, it will get it used all the time. If we want to change our input controller, we only have to change the input controller on the on the game manager class instead of or, or, or change this instead of using it everywhere in our code. So we got one single point where we control the inputs. So if we move back to the game manager, we're gonna create uh, also the same input controller. Input controller. Uh, this will no this won't be aesthetic because we only want we want to use this uh, input controller only when the game manager class is instantiated. So it's going to be public input controller, input controller, and we only have a get for this one. We cannot assign it because if we get it, it will check if it's null. Uh, wait, we gonna add the component to the game manager game object when it's when it's instantiated um, so we're gonna add a component input control there we go. so if input controller is null uh, we simply input control Will be a game object get component input controller and we return the input controller. So now when the game manager is used, we have access to the input controller and it will give us the values, it will expose the values for the input controller. Um, let me show you how that, how that looks. So I'm just going to use the main camera. Um, now I'm just going to add. Let's create um, a plane. Let's size it up a little bit, and then we add an empty game object, which will be the player. Uh, let's also create a mesh object, which will be an empty game object, but we add a capsule to it. Oops, wrong one. Uh, capsule. There we go. Just put it at a height of 1, y axis 1, so it will be nicely on the ground. Alright, and now just let's create a new player script. Uh, for now, we're going to use it in the, in the script folder, but eventually we will probably change it to the, to a shared, uh, to the shared one because we're going to do an interface or some, some sort. Let's assign the player to the player. Now, let me show you what I want to show. Uh, for instance, the public input controller. This is just for, for showing you what, what we have done. Uh, input controller. Mm. 
and then one start with assigning the controller is the game manager instance input controller. So now if we run this, we uh, let's see, save it. There's the input controller, which is obviously, obviously still uh, empty. Uh, but it, uh, it doesn't need to be public, so I'm going to make this. Uh, now we're going to make it public because we might use it. No, I'm sorry, we're not going to make it public. We're going to keep it like this. And now in the update function, I can, like, input controller. Get X is uh, sorry input controller um, horizontal and also let's print out the mouse. There we go. So now if we run this, you can see. It has the mouse input when I change it, and the horizontally horizontal input was also reflected on the player. So this is basically the concept we will be using uh, constantly. Um, I'll see you in the next video.